So in this video, you'll learn how to enable the Google Assistant on your Samsung Galaxy A56. So all you need to do is simply open the Google app on your device. And then you want to tap on your profile and select the option settings. Under settings, tap on Google Assistant. Then you want to scroll until you find the option general and select it. Tap on the option Google Assistant to turn it on and then select turn on again to confirm your choice. Once you've successfully enabled the Google Assistant, you now, needed, you now need to train it to recognize your voice. In order for you to train it, just go back to the main settings page for Google Assistant. Then you want to scroll until you find the option voice match and then select it. And then from here, tap on the toggle next to Hey Google to enable the voice match feature. And now you just need to go through the process of agreeing to the terms of condition and the use so that you can start training your Google Assistant to recognize your voice. So this will involve you saying the phrases that you'll be displayed on your screen. If you already have Google Assistant enabled on another phone linked with that account, then you no longer need to use any of the voice match data. However, if you don't have it set up on a different device, then you'll need to go through the process. So just go through the process of setting it up and then you can now start using Google Assistant on your A56. So all you need to do is say the key phrase and then whatever it is that you want to be done. So for example, if I want to set an alarm for 3 a.m. tomorrow, all I need to do is simply say, hey Google, set an alarm for 3 a.m. And you can see the Google Assistant will appear and then it will go through with the task. And so you can see here, it says alarm 3 a.m. And you can even double check it by going to the clock app and you can see your 3 a.m. alarm for the next day. And so that's how you can enable and use the Google Assistant feature on your Galaxy A56. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.